take a best-selling mystery writer to figure this one out. Small-town girl with big city dreams ends up turning tricks to survive. It's a tragic yet all-too-familiar tale. Except that's not this girl's story. We just got a fingerprint match off the victim's body. Uh, her name's not Crystal Sky. She's definitely not from Lubbock, Texas. Well, who is she? Erica Albrook. She's an honor student at Harvard. Our Skid Row hooker's a Harvard honor student? Like I said, a tragic yet not so familiar tale. If she was a prostitute, she wasn't very good at it. Seriously? You can tell that. Prostitution usually means sex, and there's no evidence of sexual activity. But what I did find were defensive wounds, bruising around the neck, and evidence of multiple blows to the head. I'm guessing someone held her by her throat and slammed her head into that ventilation fan. Lack of water in the lungs indicate that she was dead before she went in the tank. Then why bother even putting her in there? Water has a great way of washing away things like trace DNA. I mean, I don't understand. If she wasn't having sex, then what were all of those sounds coming out of her room? Okay, so she wasn't really a hooker. 